Apukwudgi is a small human-like creature from Wapanoag folklore. They are found in Delaware, Prince Edward Island, and parts of Indiana and Massachusetts. They are said to be two or three feet tall. According to legend, Pukwudgies can appear and disappear at will. They can shapeshift, with their most common form being a creature that looks like a porcupine from the back and a half-troll, half-human form from the front. Pukwudgies walk upright. They are also believed to lure people to their deaths, use magic, shoot poison arrows, and create fire. Native Americans believe that Pukwudgies were once friendly to humans, but later turned against them. It's best to leave them alone, because annoying a Pukwudgie could lead to nasty tricks or being followed by one. Pukwudgies are known to kidnap people, push them off cliffs, attack with short knives and spears, and use sand to blind their victims. Fresno Nightcrawlers are short creatures, about one and a half meters tall, with most of their height consisting of their long legs. Their upper bodies are extremely small and hard to detail due to poor footage quality. They are thin, white humanoids with no visible arms. A larger one has webbing from its knees to its torso. These cryptids have short, thin, stilt-like feet. The Thunderbird is a legendary creature in the history and culture of North American indigenous peoples. It's known for its supernatural power and strength. It holds special significance in the art, songs, and oral histories of many Pacific Northwest Coast cultures. However, it's also found in various forms among the peoples of the American Southwest, East Coast, Great Lakes, and Great Plains. In modern times, the Thunderbird has gained fame as a cryptid, similar to Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. According to legend, the Thunderbird creates thunder by flapping its wings and lightning by flashing its eyes. In British folklore and urban legend, British Big Cats refers to reported sightings of large, non-native felids in the United Kingdom. These creatures are often described as panthers, pumas, or black cats. Occasionally, individual animals have been recovered, typically medium-sized species like the Eurasian lynx. Notably, a puma was captured alive in Scotland in 1980. These animals are generally thought to be escaped or released exotic pets, often abandoned after becoming too difficult to manage or following the introduction of the Dangerous Wild Animals Act of 1976. Experts and the British government reject the existence of a breeding population of true big cats in Britain due to a lack of convincing evidence. Many supposed sightings, often made from a distance, are believed to be misidentified domestic cats. Folklorists suggest that these sightings are largely a media artifact fueled by British journalistic practices in the 1970s and 1980s with media-generated interests leading to rumors, misinterpretations, and exaggerations. In South Jersey and Philadelphia folklore, the Jersey Devil, also known as the Leeds Devil, is a legendary creature said to inhabit the Pine Barrens of South Jersey. It is commonly described as a flying biped with hooves, though variations exist. Typically, it is depicted as a creature resembling a bipedal kangaroo with a horse or goat-like head, leathery bat-like wings, horns, small arms with clawed hands, legs with cloven hooves, and a forked or pointed tail. Additionally, it's said to have an elongated body and a thick tail. The Jersey Devil is reported to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high-pitched, blood-curdling scream. The Knot Deer is a creature said to inhabit the Appalachian Mountains, with most sightings in Tennessee. It appears similar to a deer from a distance, but closer observation reveals something off about it. Descriptions often mention its movements resembling those of a newborn deer, 
despite it appearing as an adult. Some accounts suggest that it's double jointed or has additional joints in its limbs. The limbs are longer than a typical deer's. It has a barrel-like chest. Its movements are more aggressive than those of a regular deer. The most distinctive feature is that not deers have eyes positioned at the front of their head, like a predator, rather than on the sides. This unusual eye placement is often the first sign that something is amiss. A few accounts mention multiple eyes, though this is less common. Some descriptions even suggest the head is bovine-like. Not deers are reportedly unafraid of humans. The Aswang is an umbrella term for various shape-shifting evil creatures in Filipino folklore. They include vampires, ghouls, witches, viscera suckers, and human-beast hybrids. These creatures are central to a wide array of myths, stories, arts, and films throughout the Philippines. Spanish colonists in the 16th century noted that the Aswang was the most feared mythical creature among Filipinos. While Aswangs have no specific motive other than to harm others, their behavior is often seen as an inversion of traditional Filipino values. The rake is a creature from modern folklore, often described as a pale, hairless humanoid that lurks in rural or suburban areas. This legend became popular online through creepypasta stories, which are short horror stories shared on the internet. Typically, the rake is described as having sunken eyes, sharp teeth, and long slender limbs with razor-sharp claws. It is known for being extremely fast and agile, often appearing at the foot of people's beds or lurking in the shadows outside their homes. The origin of the rake legend is somewhat unclear, as it is relatively recent to modern urban legends. It first gained widespread attention in 2006 when a series of alleged sightings and encounters were posted on internet forums and websites dedicated to paranormal and supernatural phenomena. A priest protecting a woman and her child. A police chief protecting himself. A death cult hunting their next sacrifice. The dead rising to collect revenge. Eric Handy, the author of Deadpool and The Creeping City, brings you unrelenting terror at its best. Steamy jungles, tons of bullets, the invincible undead. This book is a grindhouse movie in print form. Hell of the Dead. Non-stop zombie action. <laughs>